Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Webulous Project Zomboid. Let's continue. Please move away, Steam overlay thing. Let's continue. Peach Mall 2.0. I'm excited to continue our quest to clearing out the mall. I hope you're all having a great day today. Uh, we should be back on normal uploading schedule starting today. Uh, it's... I'm still... I don't think I'm still quite over uh, the co-optional podcast appearance yesterday. Uh, I think my problem now is, uh, pardon me, just putting my cup down, um, is that I'm constantly thinking, God, I hope I did a good job. I really do. Um, I had, I had such a good time, and I, I really hope I get to go back and make another appearance. Uh, it was, uh, it was a blast, a blasty blast, uh, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it greatly. Uh, but I'm excited to get back to a normal schedule today. Uh, today, actually, an appearance of an older series is actually coming back, and that is the Let's Chat series. So keep an eye out for that. If you don't know what the Let's Chat series is, it's basically a, um, a discussion piece. It's basically me talking about a topic that is either making a lot of headlines or is a hot topic it has some or a lot of relevancy to my channel or to YouTube in general and with the YOG discovery program being kind of announced and in the spotlight uh, and bringing YouTubers trustworthiness into the spotlight and the idea of paid promotion and stuff I wanted to talk about it because it truly is a very blurred line as to what's acceptable and what's not at least in my opinion I don't think paid promotion is a bad thing at the same time I also think there has to be uh, a level of discretion used as to what you're going to be doing your paid promotion on if you're doing a paid promotion on a game that you hate I think that's a terrible terrible idea because you're very blatantly doing uh, lying about it um, but I talk a little bit about what I think is acceptable and what's not why it's such a muddy area and what my thoughts on the YOG discovery program are and uh, whether I think it's a uh, it's something that should be done uh, you know, it's potential harm, it's potential good. So keep an eye out for that. I think that'll be the video that comes out after this. Uh, so that should be out today at some point. We'll also be returning to Xenonauts and, um, everything else should be returning today. Xenonauts and, uh, Mountain Blade Warband after a, a hiatus, a day's hiatus of not doing it all. Um, just because of how yesterday, how crazy yesterday was, how short notice the co-optional podcast was for me. All that good stuff. Uh, not a bad thing, by the way, and I would do it again in a heartbeat, so... Just, uh, it's just, you know, one of those things. Uh, for those who are mad, if there are any people who are mad that I ended up not doing it yesterday, uh, my normal stuff, I apologize profusely, and we'll be getting back on track, uh, today. But for now, whoa, that door got knocked down. For now, back to taking a look at the mall and the situation we find ourselves in. That's broken open, and that, but there's nothing out there. In fact, are there any zombies anywhere? Right now? Huh. Interesting. I am curious. Okay, this is a big ass friggin store though. So, okay. Hello. Hi zombies. Let's get you out of here. I I'm positive. I'm positive. I uh was yelling and screaming and they were when I left there were a ton of zombies. I wonder if the mall just unloaded them all and just kind of shat itself between loads. Right, I just want to do a quick check. All right. Let's uh let's start pulling them out. Pull it out, baby. Always pull out. All right, axe is down. Luckily, we did bring another one. Did I just drop it? I hope not. I think I grabbed it. So we're going to have to pull this puppy out, and then we'll start hacking away. But we still have two more axes in our safe house, and we saw how long this one lasted. So I don't expect to go through this one anytime soon. But still useful. And we're going to be leveling up our blade attack soon. All right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, really? All right. All right, back up, back up. Hmm. All right. Well, this is actually going really well. Mainly because the zombies are... Whoa, that sounded like it came from behind me. Oh, we actually killed him off. All right. Two down. Uh, well, at least one down, but two fell over. Same thing there. And we killed them all. Beautiful. I'm curious how many axes we'll get. Probably none. I can't really complain, though. We have uh, been very, very lucky in the axe department. All right. Let's go back and see what we have to clear out. I'm sure there's still going to be a couple. Maybe even more than a couple, as you can see. Luckily, he's super slow, so I had the opportunity to kill them both pretty quickly. I don't know how this got misaligned. Let's go ahead and fix that. Bothers me. And we'll continue on into this weird store. One day we'll be able to grab this stuff and bring it all home. 
Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on, all y'all. Shout, shout, shout. Okay, I missed. He's panicking. Blame it on the panic. I actually should be taking beta blockers right now. I really, really should. Let's uh pop some pills. That should help with the panic very, very quickly. Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed to be robbing from the store. I'm store security. I wonder if there's anything in here. There is. It's funny because they don't discern whether this is in a house or if it's being in a store. Which is why I went and checked those fridges, by the way. And I'm going to go finish them. Because I'm curious if it automatically puts, like, refrigerator loot in here. Oh, hey, buddy. I didn't know you were still kicking. Easy kill. These seem to have nothing in them, which is kind of funny. Yeah, we're good. I, I know I checked those two over there. Continue to pull these guys out. And, uh, hack away at them. I don't know why I'm swinging a bunch. I should be charging my shots. We're also hungry. We do have soda on us, don't we? Maybe we don't. That's a problem. Well, maybe those shelves over there will have something. Okay, well, I think we actually just got hurt. My character slowed down a minute. Um, let's double check to make sure our health is okay. Wow, thank God we did not. I really want these shelves. If there's even chocolate in here or anything, I want it. One day, uh, the zombies are going to have chips on them, and that's going to be great. This is a huge fucking store, man. What am I, in Walmart? Alright, back up. Kill him off. He was a little bit faster than the rest anyway. It's already noon, which is kind of crazy. Did I kill them both? Now I did. Oh, no! Oh no, where'd you come from, bitch? You're fast, too. Jesus. Maybe that open door? No, no way. Where'd she come from? Oh, I gotta look now. See, him too. Oh, there's like an... Ooh, I wonder if there's like a, a freaking employee hallway over there. That would make the most sense. Let's take a peek over here. Oh, there is like a storeroom with no doors. Weird place for a storeroom. This is easily stolen from if there was like a, a burglar or something that, or a shoplifter. Okay, really? I gotta be careful. I could get surrounded so easily in here. All right, come on. Painkillers, useless, useless. These boxes though, not useless. And there's a, a secondary way out over there through that door. It's just the initial entrance is like a little bit open. Kind of weird. Whatever. I critique the architecture too much, I think. Okay, what was that? I don't want to get, like, especially stuck in a corner. Oh, man. Construction stuff? Like, a ton of construction stuff? Wood glue, yes. We can actually repair our axe with that. A broken one, I think. More paper clips. I really don't know what I'll do with them. But, hey, I'll try and do something with them. A tent peg. I saw you, zombie bro. Oh, here they all come. Well, they're coming like two at a time, one at a time, so that's alright. I can accept that. Come on. Really? Ah, come on, Mathis. You're better than that. Much better than that. Nails. Alright, this is good. These crates are gonna hopefully have something useful in them. I mean, nails is still a good find. We already found a box of nails, so I can't even complain all that much, but ammo is always welcome. Um, pistol ammo would be great right now. I also need to keep, on my, to keep an eye on my blade level, because we're going to be leveling that up next with the amount of axes that we have. And here come more zombies. And we can hear banging on the door over there, which I'm going to pop open in a minute and try and take care of whatever's in there. And if we need to, we can just run out the open end on the other side. We're pretty safe. Okay. Oh, Jesus, there's a quite a lot. Where'd you come from? The employees, man. I'm telling you. Good. Is she still on the ground? And she's a crawler. There's no doubt she's a crawler. I hate making crawlers. Okay, back up, back up. Really? Well, we'll at least get one of them. Good. Good. 
bullets. I'll take them. And what we got? The still got the crawler over there. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go take care of the crawler now. Up you go, buddy. There you are. Down you go. Okay, we can actually pop in the back here and see if it's safe. We have an we have an exit route if we need it. Oh hey. Okay. Interesting. I haven't really come down these areas yet, and it's actually kind of terrifying. Hey, yeah, you know what? Nah. No, thank you. Let's get out of here. I want to see, still see what's in those other, uh, what's in the uh, shelves over there. I need food. But we got a lot of, we got a lot of good construction stuff, particularly nails, or more specifically nails. But if I can find food, this is a weird like. What are they selling? I mean, granted, I'm sure it's been picked clean and all that good stuff, but still. Another box of nails. I will take it. I should probably start doing some construction now that we have the ability. Like, straight up, uh, 200 something, maybe even 300 something nails. That's wonderful. A lamp. Ooh. One day we'll be able to put that down. I don't think we can yet. Scotch tape. You know what? Let's take the scotch tape. Yeah, we're in like a Walmart or a Macy's or something. Something similar. Obviously not exactly those stores because, you know, copyright. Really, guy? You are persistent as hell. Are you serious? Thank you. You wouldn't even have anything worth killing on you. Let's see if we can pull out some more. No. No. Nope. Yes, I'll take you down. Okay, I got two, I got two, I got two, I got two. I'm in no man's land. No loading land. Let's see if we can keep on doing this. Okay, move. We gotta get out of here. My character's so tired, he can barely see. His peripheral's real bad right now. Let's go. We made we made good progress chipping away in there. We uh we took care of a good chunk of zombies. My character is real hungry. He hasn't eaten anything all day, which is not good. That's gonna hurt his strength, as you can see by at least a tick. Just generally speaking, we should just leave. But we did well. We did well. Can't really complain all that much. If we take a look, what are we at? Almost 1,300. We need like probably 200 more swings, 201 more swings, more spe specifically. But we'll be all right. Beta blockers, take some pills to take care of this. Panic, so our accuracy isn't as bad. Especially if we need to make any, if we need to do any fighting before we get home. You never know. In danger of passing out. That's not actually in the game. Keep on moving. All right, not bad at all. Made more progress. And again, we actually came out ahead, in my opinion. Let's While we're on our way out, let's take the wood glue. And let's take the axe. Let's see if we can actually do some repairs. That would be just wonderful. Hey, it's back into its, uh, it's back to being, wow, it's back to being really useful. So we repaired it once. If we could do it again. We got duct tape. We can use some duct. We got regular glue and duct tape. So we can bring these all back. So we it's almost as good as uh, the other one now. All right, good. Good stuff. Scotch tape. We have scotch tape right here, man. That's weird. I wonder if it's not being recognized. Let's put it away. Same with this axe. We got a spare axe again. We don't even have to go through our other axes. We're good. We have very, very good stuff. And we'll put everything else away afterward. Just get in the house. Hey, buddy. Where'd you come from? Whoa, there's two of you. Well, that was easy. It's husband and wife situation. Husband and wife. 
Down you go. Good kill. Pop in here. Let's put away our stuff. Wood glue. Uh, nails, paper clips, more nails, scotch tape. Put all this away. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, we have chocolate on us. Whatever. Whatever, man. Let's have some cereal before bed for you to fill us up. And uh, let's speed up time. Let's get him to bed. Actually, you don't have to speed up time. It's almost freaking midnight as it is. Not midnight, 8 o'clock. Boom. Done. Sleep. Perfect. Perfect little time to get to bed. We've had a very good run. Can't complain. When we get up, um, we'll start making our way there. And uh, start clearing out, I guess, more zombies. I mean, it's tough to, to, to really do anything else. The mall's such a project. Like, every time you go into the, to the mall, it's just clear zombies and don't die. The hardest part being the don't die part. I mean, I've already come across, I uh, already had a couple of close calls, so that's important. Uh, is there anything in my... Do I want to take the chocolate with me? More importantly, I should box up these shotgun shells. Let's do a little bit of organization. Let's put away the baseball bat. I don't need it on me anymore. I'm just, I need to not carry as much stuff because it's actually weighing me down pretty heavily. I have a spare water bottle for some reason. I have, th I have three water bottles on me. Um, so let's go ahead and put... Let's put one of them away. We don't need it. It's just weighing us down. So let's box up. Did I hear zombies out there? Let's put these away. We got another box. How many boxes of shotgun shells do we have on us? Let's take a look. Four boxes of shotgun shells plus enough to load up the gun. We have almost enough pistol rounds to consider our another box. We have another bat. Weird. Oh, we should put the hammer away too. We don't need that anymore. I was carrying around that as like a... A weapon, just in case we needed one. Painkillers, we have three bottles on us and two in the bag. Antidepressants, we don't really need. Chocolate, I'm going to hang on to for food. Glue, we don't need. I'm only going to carry around one painkiller bottle. Same thing with beta blockers, we have way too many. We have enough to last us quite a while. Bandages, we don't... That doesn't actually weigh anything. Let's put the pistol... Let's hang on to the pistol, actually. There's no need to put the pistol away. That'd be silly. And I think... I think we're good to go. This is probably the most organized I've been in a while. And with that, we'll wrap this episode up. We'll head back into the mall next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. As always, if you are, come back tomorrow for more daily Project Zombo. And consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.